Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Um, I am still sick, but I did want to record so I can get a video up for you. Sorry for my appearance, I am like still recovering. But in today's video, I just wanted to show you how I organize my Christmas gifts. Okay, so first things first, I keep a note on my phone. So the note is called favorites. And so basically what I do is I have the name of every single person in my family and friends. And then if I hear them mention anything about something that they like or an interest or um, I get any kind of like gift idea for them. I will write it down in the note under their name I'll just keep this running all year long so I can have ideas when it does come time to shopping for presents And then another thing that I do um, <coughs> I need to get a cough drop one second another thing that I do is I try to start early as early as possible Even throughout the year if I see something I'm like, oh this person would like this Then I just buy it for them so I can have it for Christmas And I like to just have like small little like random gifts that can be for anybody Just to have on hand just in case there's like a white elephant or I forget somebody I always also like to have gift cards on hand just in case there is somebody that shows up on Christmas that you weren't expecting to be there you can at least give them a gift card I don't prefer giving gift cards but sometimes it's just nice to have them as for budget I just look and see I don't really know how to give budgeting advice but for me personally I get a commission check each month and so I take October and November's commission checks and I use those for Christmas presents and then I do get a Christmas bonus um, typically each year so I like to use that on Quinn and myself. This year we said we weren't gonna do presents, but my mom's like, you have to get each other presents. And I'm like, okay, so we're getting each other presents, but we're not gonna make it anything crazy. Um, we're gonna do stocking stuffers and then um, something small. We're also saving for a trip for Peru. So like that's also gonna be our Christmas present. And then we also celebrate Three Kings on January 6th, which is I believe only celebrated by Puerto Ricans. I'm not entirely sure. If you celebrate three kings, let me know down below. Oh my god, these dogs are crazy. Then lastly, I will create some sort of spreadsheet like this. I do it on my computer and then I make it shareable to all my devices so I can see it from my phone, my computer, my iPad, whatever I'm on. Um, if I want to reference um, who is left, so I will highlight them when they're done and then I will write like what I got them. I'm not gonna show you too closely. Um, but then at a glance, I'll be able to see who's still left. I have to update this by the way. It's, um, there's a lot more people done, but at a glance, I'll be able to see who's still left, um, how many gifts I got for everybody. This year I did not do a total um, spent on gifts, but I have done that in the past if that's something that you want to track for me personally I just didn't track it this year and then on this far end right here um, Is all the extra gifts that weren't necessarily assigned to anybody, but that I have available to give so um, <clears throat> At the end if there's anything that I'm like, oh, maybe this person needs like one more gift or a small something I usually have like fuzzy socks or just like random like face masks stuff like that that's just like easy to give as an extra little gift for somebody and so that's how i track all of the actual gifts that i have gotten and then last but not least i think i would prefer to make another page on my spreadsheet but um i did not do that this year so these are just gift ideas again it's on my note but i wrote it down so quinn could also see it so he can also give me ideas on stuff that he might want to get for other people as well because i need his input sometimes i don't know what to get for certain people so i also have this running list of all the gift ideas and everybody else that i have to get for um I'm almost done with presents and I'm excited to start wrapping soon, but there are a few more people that I do have to get gifts for. I try to mostly get the bigger stuff for the kids and cousins and stuff like that and parents obviously, but I also do like to still give gifts to everybody, at least something. I am very much a gift giving person. Um, I love it so much. This is my favorite time of year. I love seeing people opening the gifts especially when um it's something that i know that they'll like or like something that i heard like randomly i'm like oh yeah i'm gonna get them that one other thing i would like to mention is 
if you don't have an Amazon list, make an Amazon list. So I keep personally a running list all year round. So if there is any kind of, if there's a birthday or Christmas, for example, um, I know what I want because I hate when it's like the time of year when you need to let people know what you want. And then you can't remember what you want and you want things like obviously for me i keep this list running all year round um and i just share it again once the time comes and i will add stuff for myself and then i will buy it off of my list um whatever i want to treat myself so it's just nice to always have this list going but on amazon you can make your list and it just has everything that you can think of like the other day i was crimping my eyelashes but i'm like I need an eyelash curler because the one that I have is like on its last leg. So I put it on my list and then I move on. Like it's the best. And then I also have a shared one with Quentin for the house stuff and then just like the dog stuff. Like I have a bunch of different lists um, and it's just awesome to keep everything in one spot. And then you can tell your family members or your friends to also make lists and they can share their lists with you and you can go off of those lists and buy them Christmas presents as well or get ideas for stuff that you want to get them. So that is all of my Christmas tips and tricks and hacks, if you want to call it that, on how I organize my Christmas list shopping and budget. And yeah, that's all. I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Quiet on set. I'm kidding. If you celebrate three cream, if you celebrate three.